Okay, class, we are now in the last, uh, your performance task for the week. You are going to make a science investigation report or an SIR. Now, remember last Monday, I told you to fill, you're going to answer some of the things in the science investigation report. So this is just going to be a continuation. By the way, I'm going to give you a copy of this. So all of you will be having this copy. So all you need to do is to input or encode your answer. Now, the problem is already given. You do not need to think of the problem. Since this is your first time dealing with an SIR, Therefore, I will make it somewhat easier. Some of the things are already provided, okay? So your problem is, what will happen to an egg if it's placed in a glass of water with salt? Now, of course, your hypothesis, you will be the one to think, okay? And also, what is your experimental group? What is your control group? We will see if you really have understood our lesson for this week. You will also be identifying the independent, dependent, and the control. Okay. Now, the materials are already given as well as the procedure. Okay? Because this is a sort of a guided inquiry. Now, after the procedure, you have followed this. What is the meaning of three-fourths water? About 75%. So if you're going to use a glass, about 75% of that should be filled with water. The 25% with no water. Okay? Now, we will now be going on to your data collection. Remember, when you collect data, you can either have qualitative, it means you will be describing what did you observe using your sense of sight. I hope you're not going to use your sense of taste. Okay? Uh, sense of sight na muna tayo. You will be observing. Uh, but it's, it's your choice. But I, I will not be recommending that because you will be drinking salty water and salty water is quite bad if it's really salty. Okay? Now, Quantitative and quantitative observations. Dalawa dito. Why? Because you're going to measure the amount of salt and the floating level of egg. Madam, di ba we already have the salt here? Yes, indeed. You are correct. Remember, glass A without salt. Glass B, two tablespoons. Glass C, three. Yes. That is the initial setup. Okay, later you will further add, paulitin ko ha, the initial setup, yung B, glass B and C, they already have salt. Magkaiba nga lang. Okay, later, i-explain ko kung ilang amount of salt ang i-add ninyo. Okay? And the floating level of egg. How do we measure the floating level of egg in centimeter? For example, here, I have provided a picture, but later I will be removing it the moment I will be distributing this um, science report. Okay? So, you will be using a ruler. Let us have our marker here. So, for example, here, you will be measuring. Okay. From the tip. From the tip of the egg down to the bottom part. So let me just, okay. You will be measuring the height of the floating level in centimeter. We have two ends of the centimeter. Uh, we have two ends in the ruler, the inches and the centimeter. Some is... Some of the rulers are in millimeter, just convert it centimeter. You are going to use the smaller calibration. The one with the larger calibration, that's the inches. Okay? So, how do you, again, measure the floating level? From the tip down to the bottom, 
you are going to measure the height in centimeter. And you are going to input that. Okay. So we are done with this. Let's now go to the result. I said, when you're going to have results, you will be having a line graph. So I have provided already uh, a, a graph that you're going to input your result. Okay? By the way, in this uh, quantitative observation, since it's quantitative, you will be having a numerical value here. You can extend the table here, okay? You can extend. Okay, let's now go to the result. You can see here that there is a graph, okay? Kindly click the open source. Again, click the graph. You can see that there is a chain here. Click that, open source. It's going to direct you to a Google Sheet. Okay. Oh, as we can see here, this is a, just a sample, ha? Sample lang. Okay, it's working. Still refreshing. Okay. Let me just move the graph here. So what happened? Where is the... Okay. Now, remember, you are still going to add salt in, in B and C only, ha? Because remember, class A does not have salt in it. Okay? Walang salt. So, zero salt, wala. Measure the height of the floating egg. Or it's, it's floating or sinking. Then, 0.5, kalahati ng spoon ng salt. Dissolve it ha, dissolve it. Observe ang height sa glass B and C. Remember, you will only add salt in glass B and C. Okay. After 0.5 tables, Spoon, dinisolve ninyo doon sa glass B na meron ng 2 tablespoon na dati na. Tapos yung glass C meron ng 3. Dissolve it. Halimbawa, ito yung height na na-measure nyo. Centimeters, ha? Okay. O halimbawa, sabi mo hindi naman nagbago. Okay. Glass A, remember, walang salt yan. Okay. After the 0.5, 1 tablespoon naman isang kutsara. Ilagay uli sa glass B and C, i-dissolve. Oh, observe the height. Tapos 1.5, 2, so on and so forth. So, every time na mag-measure ako, i-input mo yan. Oh, input mo yan. Dyan, input mo. Example here. So, see, the moment that you input the height in centimeters ito, ikita niyo, there is a graph that is produced. Okay? That is what you're going to do. So, for example, ito, tapos na dyan, na-input na ninyo, go back to the science investigation report, tapos i-update ninyo. Yan. See? That is your ready your graph. Automatic na yan. Then, finally, ano yung conclusion? Of course, you will be the one to think kung ano yung conclusion. Remember, the conclusion, two to three sentences, answers your problem and is related to your hypothesis. And finally, of course, in every experiment, you need to have some sort of a proof or evidence that you really have conducted it. So may I ask you to insert pictures of your experiment conducted and please add some captions. Okay? Now, how are you going to be graded? These are the rubrics, components of the report. Is it complete? Nandiyan ba lahat? 
Have you followed it thoroughly? Five points. Hypothesis. Is your hypothesis clearly stated and identified? Have you used the if and then? What about the variables? Correct mo bang na-identify yung IV, DV, and CV? Or yung control group, experimental groups? Five points yon. What about your data? Tama ba yung data? Sinunod mo ba talaga? And your conclusion? Is it correctly stated? Two to three sentences ba? And finally, 10 points ang documentation and communicating the result. Why? Because I want you to have some sort of a document that you have communicated your result to your parents or siblings. Kasi one way, la, di ba last step ang communicating English aside from stating the conclusion. So, kailangan po ipakita nyo sa akin na nag-share kayo na, na tutunan ninyo dito sa experiment. Okay? So, the deadline of this will be posted in the Google Classroom. Now, most of you are thinking, what if I will be making a vid or a PowerPoint presentation under documentations? Well, you can do that. I'm letting your creativity, use your creativity on how you, you are going to present your documentations. Okay, but if you're planning to do that, make sure that you are going to have another attachment in the Google Classroom before you're going to mark it as done. So if you're going to plan a PowerPoint presentation, you are going to add another file. Okay, or if you're going to make a vid, just a very short one, mga one minute lang siguro, just to have a, a way of... Um, documenting your experiment, sige, attach it, okay? Either way, it's all in the rubrics. Now, if you have further questions, I think you can ask me in the Google Classroom. This will be, again, your one performance task for this week. Okay, class? Goodbye.